Hey guys, welcome back to Admiral Reviews. So I'm starting a new series called The Most Misused Techniques in Anime. So I wanted to start off with the Naruto series. So the technique I want to talk about in the Naruto series is none other than the most infamous jutsu, the Shadow Clone Jutsu. The Shadow Clone Jutsu has proved an important technique throughout the whole series of Naruto from beginning to end. So a few things I would like to talk about before we get into the details is I will not be talking about the ordinary clone jutsu. The clone jutsu is different as those clones cannot take damage and are more of used as a distraction than used for physical combat. Another thing I would like to talk about is that Naruto is not the only shinobi that can use the shadow clone jutsu. There have been many, and when I mean many, I mean many different people that have been able to use this jutsu. The only thing is that Naruto is one of the few people that has been able to use this jutsu to the scale that he has. And that comes down to a different reason that we're going to get into a little bit later. So what is the Shadow Clone Jutsu? The Shadow Clone Jutsu allows the user to make a clone of themselves. And unlike the regular clone technique, these clones can move on their own free will, make their own decisions, and cast their own jutsus. But if they're dealt enough damage, they will return back to the original user. But what makes this technique so dangerous is that for every clone made, the user has to deal half of their chakra to this clone. And this runs the risk of the user completing up all their chakra. This is one of the reasons why Naruto does so well with this technique, is because Naruto, unlike most characters in this series, has what we would call almost unlimitless amount of chakra, which makes using this technique ideal for him. So let's talk about some of the techniques that Naruto uses with the Shadow Clone Jutsu. In the beginning of the series, Naruto primarily used Shadow Clones with Taijutsu because he wasn't adept in using Ninjutsu or Genjutsu. But later on in the series when he learns the Rasengan, he uses a Shadow Clone in order to help him wield the Rasengan and form it. And then later on in the series, he even takes that even further when he learns Wind Style and he uses two Shadow Clones, one to use the Wind Chakra and another one to help him hold the Rasengan like in the previous technique. Naruto also uses a barrage attack, which is basically a whole bunch of Naruto's and a whole bunch of Rasengan's that causes a lot of damage. So this is where I start to see the technique being misused. So in the second part of Naruto, we learn that when a clone becomes deactivated, all the experience and knowledge from that clone goes back to the original user. Naruto uses this technique when he trains, and this is able to cut his training from what may have taken years to only about a few days. So we also learn you can use Shadow Clones in order to gather Chakra. And once the Shadow Clone disperses, the Chakra is immediately returned back to the original user. But other than that, we haven't seen Naruto really use his Shadow Clones in any unique way. And here's what my issue is. If Naruto could use the Shadow Clones in order to cut training time in half, and also to regain his Chakra in an instant, why not use it in other fields? Naruto was never known to be the smartest ninja, but with Shadow Clones, he could have always had a Shadow Clone studying and returned the information right back to him, and Naruto could have been as smart as Shikamaru in only a couple days. And why stop there? Naruto could have used Shadow Clones for sleeping and eating, and he would have never felt any fatigue from that. Naruto could have been on the battlefield for days or even weeks, and he would have never have needed to stop for food or sleep. Now when you think of shadow clones like this, you kind of think how overpowered they are. Because basically, when you have the amount of chakra that Naruto has, you're basically saying that this person can become a one-man army. And that would, that would create too many problems in a series like this. Where Naruto's already overpowered. I think we need to look back and think if there was ever a moment where Naruto could have used extra stamina. Hmm, maybe not. That's all I got to say about the Shadow Clone technique. What do you think about the technique? How did you feel about it in the series? Please let me know in the comments. If you like this video, please let me know so I can make more content like this. Other than that, please like the video, subscribe to the channel. I would very much appreciate that. And other than that, please have a nice ass day.